Well, greetings, everyone. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, uh, we miss you. Uh, it's uh, been tough not gathering together, not seeing you uh, every Sunday like we're accustomed, but that time is drawing uh, near to an end. Now, I don't think we can end it this particular Sunday because, as you're going to see shortly, uh, we have our sanctuary pretty torn up right now. Uh, we went ahead and decided to take some aggressive measures to really upgrade things. We have a new sound system going in. That's been the last couple days installing that. The new speakers are hanging up. Now the new soundboard is in. Uh, next week, we're going to be putting the new monitor system in for all our musicians. And we have a digital snake that's going in, a new amplifier system. So a lot of things happening on that front. In addition, you're going to see that we've taken some measures to upgrade the appearance of our stage. So that's all kind of in transition. We have scaffolding set up. We have the lift out on the floor. You'll see all that in a little bit. So it, even though the restriction has been lifted, it's probably not the best Sunday to come back to church because when we started this project, I just told everybody, I want to go all out and get it done as soon as possible. And if we have to try to get everything back in shape for this Sunday, it would just slow down our progress going into next week. So we didn't know that all these restrictions were going to be lifted uh, when they were. So we'll go ahead and live stream the service. Uh, if you just absolutely can't stay away, uh, you can come, but you'll have to tolerate a big mess in the sanctuary. We'll just get a seat for you and participate as much as we can. Being as the sound system was all torn up, we're not even going to have a live praise and worship tomorrow. I'm going to be putting some songs together so that you can have a participatory experience from your home, but... It'll be less than our great standard of having our live praise and worship, but that's just the way it is. We got to make do in difficult circumstances. Now, when we do resume services, I just want to ask everyone to extend a lot of grace. You know, we all have a different take on what's going on here, and I've been pretty vocal, not on the church page, but on my personal page about how I feel things are being handled and how they have been handled. And I know that some of you have a lot more cautionary uh, stance toward all this and maybe you don't feel comfortable that the restrictions have been lifted or you feel a little bit frightened for your children or uh, yourselves. Listen, don't worry about it. We're all in this together. We don't all have the same take on it. And I think uh, we need to really extend grace toward those who have a different opinion than what we have. And you may not uh, have the same strong ideas about it that I have. I want you to know I still love you. You're still my brother in the Lord. You're still my sister in the Lord. I still respect you. You handle things in the way that you feel comfortable. And nobody in our church family is going to look down on someone else who has a different opinion. We have grace and you have liberty. And when it's time to come back to church, if you feel more comfortable wearing a mask, that's fine. If you don't feel comfortable being in the presence of others and you want to stay home and take it in on the live stream, that's fine too. We love you just the same, no matter how you desire to handle the situation. And the same goes the other direction. I and mean, I know we have some people who they would have kept coming to church every Sunday uh, if they had been able to, and they just have made a diff different determination and are following the Lord in a different way in all this. And that's kind of where I am. Uh, so we need to have grace toward people in that camp as well. Uh, you know, the, the important thing to realize is that we're all in this together and we have liberty to follow the Lord in the way that seems best to us. And I want that to cut both ways. Very important. And that's having grace. Now, I don't agree with everything the government said, but 
I grant them grace and exercise patience toward them. And that doesn't mean I don't strongly express my opinion. I think that's part of what being an American citizen is about too, that we hold our officials accountable and we have free thought and we have free expression of ideas. And there are a lot of people who have ideas different than I do. And that's fine. I still care about them. I still respect them. But go ahead and have your debates and have your strong sentiments expressed. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, we don't need to be uh, so bent out of shape and offended and take things personally if someone has a different viewpoint than us. I think that's just very important and it's healthy. It's healthy in a church. It's healthy in, in our society that we're able to debate strongly and take a stand for our ideas and offer strong arguments without getting all personal and bent out of shape and hard feelings and that sort of thing. So that's the way we're going to handle it here at church. That's the way we've always handled things, and it's always served us well. We've always had tremendous unity in our church family, and I think that's because we're respectful of one another. But, you know, you also have to have liberty to state your view. And we always say it this way, you know, argue your point, just don't be argumentative about it. There's an argumentative spirit, too. That's not a good thing. That's where we're getting so competitive and we take everything personally and take it all to the nth degree. Uh, that's not the way we want to do it. State your case, debate stridently, but be accepting of one another in the end, even if you have a different idea. So uh, not church on the premises tomorrow yet. Uh, I mean, we're going to have some people here just because they heard the news and they're not going to see the video or whatever. And they're just so anxious to get back that they're going to be here and they're going to be sitting in the mess. And we'll still have church, but most of you will take it in online. And then we'll be pointing toward a week from tomorrow. And the sound system hopefully will all be up and running and we'll have live praise and worship again. Uh, we'll have to see if we're going to have children's church. And we may even have two services. We may have a 9 o'clock service and a 1030 service. We'll see. But that might make it a little easier to practice the social distancing and have good spacing in between people. And uh, sadly, we won't probably have our church lunches for a while yet, just because people are real sensitive about the uh, potential spreading of germs and what have you. So... Uh, we'll be watching on that a little bit. So love you. And now I'm going to show you a progress report of what's been going on in our sanctuary here. So you have an inkling of that. And I just want to thank everybody again for your faithfulness, giving, serving. So many people have been showing up and helping out with these projects and uh, giving to benevolence. We want to keep emphasizing our giving to missions. Our missionaries need our support Let's not forget them out on the field. You know, you want the blessing of God on our church and on your personal family. Just give to missions. That's where God's heart is, missions. And uh, benevolence, the same. And don't forget, the food pantry will be open tomorrow, 1130 to noon. Again, that's been our customary time, 1130 to noon. And you want to stop by and say hello during that time, do so. And again, you want to wear a mask wear a mask. You don't want to wear a mask, don't wear a mask. That's up to you. Just use your own God-given common sense. I think God has blessed us with the capacity to know what to do and how to handle these situations. And just trust the Lord and follow what you think his leading is. If you're a little fearful of the germs, then wear the mask. It's okay. If it's no skin off your nose, then don't wear the mask. I don't. It doesn't matter to me. And uh, you have liberty to follow the Lord in the way you see fit. And I think that's the way, the best way to do it. So we love you. Watch this next video here and let us know any comments you have. Uh, and love you guys. God bless you. May the Lord be with you. See you tomorrow for the live stream at 10. God bless. <laughs> but, oh well, I said, no, I'm not changing it. Ramsey, what do you think of the new speakers you want in? Huh?
I think they're beautiful. I'm very excited. Aren't you glad they're going to be hung on a the wall there? Yeah, it's a good place for them. Come on. <laughs> In there? Well, here you got a view of the sanctuary. And this tells you why we're not going to have church in here tomorrow. Now, if there's a few people who just absolutely can't stay away, come on. But here's the new makeover on the stage. Where our curtain used to be. That's where the new wide screen is going to go for the new projector, which is going to be hung up there where the old projector is. So here's another look at the backdrop. Okay. And Big C and Jeff are getting the speakers in. Yippee. So the old ones were hanging up from the ceiling there and now the new ones are going to be coming off the wall. And Ramsey and Nathan Luco were working hard the last couple of days getting a screen up here for us, getting this projector here moved over for the praise and worship ministry. And here's the beautiful new soundboard. Oh, and I see a note there that I wrote to Carl, so I would remind, to a, remind myself to ask him, which I haven't asked him that yet. That's a good reminder. But this is a digital soundboard, so we're going to be state-of-the-art now. But here's the old soundboard, new chairs, daycare paraphernalia, all the musical stuff, the massive scaffolding to get the speakers down, the old ones. And now we got to move that scaffolding onto the platform so we can paint on our new screen and paint all the walls. Old speakers, lift. So it's pretty much a construction zone in here. So, I mean, if a few of you just can't stay away, come ahead, because I think some are going to show up no matter what. Some won't see the video. And we'll just make do. We'll move this stuff out of the way somewhat. But there's not going to be any children's church tomorrow. We'll be looking at getting uh, church rolling again a week from tomorrow. But you can see a lot has to happen before we're ready for that, including a whole new screen and painting up here. Uh, I want to just give a shout out to Mike Edwards, who worked really hard on the doors. And Pastor Todd, who did a good job of applying the wallpaper with Leanne. What an awesome job everybody's done. Actually, we worked pretty hard on chiseling all those stone chunks out <laughs> and getting those mortared in there, so that was tough. And then we had to harvest the boards, the lumber, saw them up, and uh, get that weathered look. And But I think it all turned out pretty well.